What's up guys, NFJJ back at it with another video. I hope you do enjoy, and if you do, hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Also, almost 90% of the people watching my videos aren't actually subscribed, so if you like NASCAR videos and enjoy my content, consider subscribing because it's free and you can unsubscribe at any time. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah, the update is, he's happy with the car, as you can tell guys. Pretty quiet over the radio, nothing to report. Womp oh, crash God. on the track. Oh, heavy contact, cars crashing. Oh. There's, there's Hornish. One car in flames. Heavy contact, the 43 involved, Blaney involved. David Gilliland is heavy, the, the whole front of that car. Bridge, but nothing you can do. Sheared away. Then Michael McDowell gets into the back of Gilliland, get into the corner here. Oh. Oh my goodness. It's the hard oh, line. Right across in front of Labonte who backs that car into the guardrail. There comes the 77 of Hornish. He was involved. See, Ryan Newman just stopped in the 12 car. hard hits right there. Hard, Junior. hard lick for Junior. And he is head first into the tire barrier. All the way across the gravel. You see right here. Him. That's oh, what my. got Sorensen in trouble. Oh, that's, yeah, Sorensen Junior. just a victim here. And even all that sand and gravel can't slow a car down. They slowed it down. That's the yeah, key thing. That's it right. still didn't keep it from hitting the wall, but definitely knocked a lot of speed off here. This could have been a really bad crash for Dale Jr. Had it not been for this area, this is what NASCAR and, and Watkins Glen have done to make it we safer in this area. Out, guys. Just got taken out by the 88. Oh, oh big oh. crash in turn number two, David Ruderman. Oh, goodness. Six gets, it's like, oh, oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Wow. Like Boris said, got into the six car. David Reagan. Oh, my goodness. That's a hard lick for David Reagan. This. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Ron Fellow is also into the wall in that. Ooh. Got one off, and that is Matt Kenseth. Hard Big hit yeah. as he came down. Wow. Caution is out for the fourth time today. And you see him right here. He's on the outside, and Junior gets up over the curb before he gets there. Junior gets into his left rear, but at the same time, if we if we have that other shot, yeah, um, what? what's Junior's right side of Junior's car as he hits the curb? Boom, and it knocks, and it, him, and it knocks him straight yeah. to the left, straight yeah. to the left. And we've talked about it before. It is really tough to go through this area of the racetrack. Look at Tagliani coming in deep. Contact back there with Gone in the 33. Tagliani goes around again. And now Gone goes around. Sadler somehow gets through in the two. And Sam Hornish gets through in the 12. Boy, there's a lot of debris in that corner. Jacques Villeneuve. See restart because turn one and two are so tightly bunched together. Watch, three wide entering turn one won't work. Brennan Gone gets crossed up corrects into Alex Tagliani. Then when you get a car in the grass, you're along for the ride. You can't steer, can't brake. You see the three of Austin Dillon, the two. Issue, let's take a look. He, oh, he just gets loose and he's oh, nowhere to go. Man. Oh, wow. And that's a moment that your thing about says, this would be a good shot at right here in real time. Wow. So, you know, it's inviting, and what people have told me is that if you give up a little there, it costs you all the way around. Now. And we have a car into the tire barriers. That's Steve Park. 
This is at the exit of turn number two. I think that's where Richard Petty hit the wall here exactly. a few years ago. It sure is. Yep. It's a full course caution. First time this afternoon. Comes on. But, folks, look here what happened. Steve Parks is going to come to watch as he backs in the fence. Overturns completely in the air. Comes down on all four. Looks like those guys at the X Games, the way they do those uh, <laughs> skates. Wow. Man, oh, man. That was a... He's going to take the lead. Oh, oh barely. Oh, oh, they're goes wrecking. Both of them are the wrecking. Seven. And they pile into him. We are just by Riley. They're just both of them right there. Lost control. Yeah, yeah, so the seven on his own. The 18 definitely had contact from Almendinger, it appeared. Caution is out. Yeah, I was sitting there looking out the window, and that car never even started to turn. It was like something was locked up on it because he just went straight, and it didn't even make any indication that it was going to make that corner. Here he comes. Yeah, something, oh, yeah. something uh, left oh, front tire went left down. Left front tire goes wow. down. Yeah. Oh, man. Out, and we've got a caution as the 23 has turned it around in turn number nine. That's Dexter Stacy. He ran 32nd last week at the Glen, and that's your race leader he almost backed into. Well, speaking of the race that happened to the 23 of Stacy. Yeah, he gets back into the accelerator a little aggressive. You got to remember that the uh, tires are pretty much worn out at this point. Goes around up against the wall, and what's for, what the problem is here is he just can't he can't go anywhere. You know, the car might still be running, but he can't go anywhere. Trying to turn the car around, nearly got into the. The front of Jacques Villeneuve. Trouble. Ron Fellows 33, Travis Quapple 93. Caution is out. We're a wreck. Looks like Fellows just got right in the quarter panel. Yeah, it looked like he had that, and he was kind of expecting maybe that well, knew that he was there. Tough place to race side by side. We pointed this out yesterday and don't know how much we talked about today, but there's not much room up through here. Denny Hamlin picked up a piece of somebody's bumper bar on the nose of his car on the way through. Yeah, he was right behind these two. And then things will start stacking up from back there because there's just nowhere to go. Somebody in the wall. Oh, oh Denny Hamlin. Hamlin. Wow. God. That looked like no brakes, man. That was no brakes. Oh, and Denny climbing through the see. car. Man. Yeah, it looks like it's, it's got it's some got brakes. The front brakes are the left front's locked up. That's almost like the throttle hung. Man, that could have been. It could have been the throttle hung pushing the front tire. Man. Yeah, those rear tires are still going hard. Yeah. Oh. Um. Get a look at it right here. You can see, whoa, it really gets loose. A fast part of the track is you're exiting, trying to get, wow, look at the car get up in the air. Man, that's a violent hit. That's a tire wall over there in front of the guardrail that you hit, and you could see that it just sent the car airborne. Look, one more time, and thank goodness there was a tire barrier here. Yeah, you could see him coming out of turn nine, wide open in the throttle, but there is a tire barrier in front of the guardrail there. But look at it, send the car airborne and back out in front of other cars. The 14 involved. Looks like Kyle Busch might have been at the front end of that. Tommy Dreese in the 14. Here at this point, take another look at what happens. See the Big contact from the 90. Yeah, you have to believe there was contact from behind or something happened. The angle at which he was heading to the wall. Severe change of directions quickly. But the 90 got into the wall, bounced back out onto the racetrack. Oh, and the 18 had it completely stopped until the 11 comes spinning back across the racetrack. And made. Um, we come here, and I messed up uh, first lap and first practice we had, and then we were, uh, we were sitting pretty for the rest of the weekend. But... Um, just getting old, Dave. Um, go on to Mid Ohio, I think, and try to try for best of luck there. Prince Jr. And too hard through one. Kislowski, Larson both into the wall. They pile up in the Tubbs Heartburn turn. Really spinning their wheels much. Brand's in trouble right there. He knows he's in trouble. Got the left front locked up, and now just nowhere for these guys to go. I think even the 18, he was in too deep. A lot of guys really did have a lot of trouble getting out of the corner. That is so strange. At lap number 46, I mean, everybody in the top seven. Oh, more problems as Danica Patrick and Sam Hornish. They're involved. 
and it has gone from bad to worse for Sam. Well, here's what happened. That's the first one where McDowell, you said, you're right, he just ran over him. Yeah, he did. He, uh, he just carried way too much speed into the corner. Now that puts Sam back at around, oh, 18th, 19th position. And that is the 59 of Kyle Kelly turning Danica. Oh, and then the old one of Mike Wallace tries to take an evasive move and collects the 12 of Sam Hornish. Huge crash here at Watkins Glen. Heavy contact. Jeff Gordon involved. Jeff Burton is there. Heavy hit by the 77 car. Sam Hornish, he is out of his car. Jeff Gordon is yet to come out now. He is climbing out of the car. I say we're done for the day. Here's Sam Hornish racing with Casey Kane as they come out of the corner. Oh, Looks like yep. Casey got loose and tried yep. to correct it. Got into Sam and goodness gracious. What just a as we saw the other thing. Wow. Huge lick by Jeff Gordon. It's good to see him get out of his car and Sam Hornish. Both of those cars hit really? extremely hard on that second impact. Gordon head on into the Armco barrier. We saw this happen with Jason Leftworth's car the other day get thrown back and Jeff Gordon wide open, nowhere to go. It's good to see those guys get out of the car. Joey Logano just missing the inside of the 77.